Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to talk about CSS background properties. So we have a multiple properties with respect to background of div. Okay, so we can add color to the background. We can add images to the background. If you want to repeat the image, we have a properties called background repeat. If you want to change the size of background, then we have a property called background size. If you want to set the position for the background, then for the background images, then where it should align. If you want to align the images at uh, left uh, top corner, so this will come here. If you want to align the image at uh, bottom right corner, so this will be aligned here on this side. So, okay. And uh, <clears throat> after that, we have a background origin and background clip property to work with or to fix the image. Okay, how these properties will work, I will discuss what and what, what and all values for these properties we will have to use and how to use everything will be discussed in this video. <clears throat> so now let's say I, I have a one div here, I will add a div and for this due, I will declare height and width. Basic properties, width is 100%. Okay, by default, it will take, because since it's a due, is a block level element, it will take 100% width, but still I would like to add. Okay, and I will say 400 pixel. And I will add a background color here, right? So I can add background color, background color as, okay, brown. Uh, no issues with color. And if I go here and if I refresh the page here, you can see that the color is added to, to the background. Okay. Similarly, we can add properties or we can add background to the content only. How to add, let's say I have a web jam. Okay. Or there may be a paragraph or we can add a paragraph for this also. This is a demo of CSS background properties. Properties. Okay. And we, I'm just creating a demo okay with respect to background background we have properties called what properties are we have a color or i will say background color comma okay background background image and the background position okay and background size okay like this uh, many properties are there i will add this much only and here you can see that the line is starting from its top side and if I want to add some padding, okay, or either I would like to uh, reduce this, that is also fine. Reduce the width so that it should look like that uh, better. So now, <clears throat> now I have added text and the text is starting from its uh, top left and top corner, right? And as per the due size, it will get aligned automatically. Now I have to add the border to this div what i will do i will say border okay border a uh, border of 10 pixel solid border of 10 pixel solid okay what border i should add so gray 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 okay green yellow i will add 
gray is also working okay and this gets bo here border is added for this okay now now the text is very uh, closer to the border okay and to leave some space i can add padding to this element so if i add padding okay padding is internal and if i add padding to this this will take from border only okay and if i say 100 pixel so it will take padding internally okay and it has taken a padding from all these four sides that's why height and width is increased for that due for that due okay no problem now what i wanted to do i have to add text i mean i have to add color to the only content box so here we have three types of boxes what and all uh, those three types of box boxes i will write here first we have a border box okay and what border box will cover i will talk here so for border box okay for border box border plus padding plus content box okay this properties will be included means included means size of these properties will be added to make the border box size okay our border box size is equal to the border whatever the border we have 10 pixel then what is the content width we have taken that is also considered as our 50 percent that is also considered inside a border box then padding is also considered inside a border box okay next we have padding box okay next we have a padding box and inside a padding box border will not be considered only padding plus content content box or content width will be considered for padding box purpose and next we will have content box and in this we will not consider border or padding we will consider only content width content width so this is how three properties are there with respect to background color means what for that we have a property called background clip to work with text okay to work with text we have a property called background clip and for that background clip, I have to add the value as of either border box, padding box, or content box. I will show you here. Okay. And what is the difference? We will discuss. Okay. What I will do? I will take these properties here aside. Okay. Now, now what I have to say, I have to say background color. Oh, no. Background color is we some uh, what we have given. I have to say background clip. Okay. And for the background clip, you can see the border box is there, content box is there, and padding box is there. So if I wanted to add the border only to the to this content box only, this is not a content box. Okay. I have selected text to I mean without considering the padding and border. In that case, it is possible to add. But for that purpose, we have to declare background clip as a content box. Okay. And just refresh the page. And here you can see that whatever the size content box has, excluding padding and border, that background position or background color will be added to that content width only. If you want to consider the padding only without considering the border, yes, that is possible. You have to say, 
here as a padding box so what it will do it will consider this whatever the area now it has covered plus this green border to uh this background color or content width or whatever the content size we can see so what is the what is the white space is remaining that is the padding box only and it will consider that area also okay and if you want to have the border for the border also this background color you can declare here as a border box it will not change the color of border but i will what i will do i will mark here okay one mark i will mark here so you can see or let me mark some other uh, symbol okay so from here okay in this way from this position background color is started if you want to see what i will do i will re remove the border and you can see that this arrow is an indication for us that the background color is started started from here i have to say transparent okay otherwise it will take a default black color here this green border will go on and you can see the background color if i use the if i use the padding box here padding box here you will see some difference or some space between this arrow and border that is that is whatever the size for that border purpose we have declared is the amount of space there so this is how border box padding box and content box works with respect to background color we have to use the property called background clip okay and all other property background image background repeat background size and background position and background origin these properties are with respect to background image only so we will discuss everything about the image and here here i have to okay now what i i have to do or i will say i don't want this content instead of this content i want image here and for that purpose i will add a image okay no problem so i will i will show you then everything i have removed i will remove this background color also and instead of transparent i will make it as a this color okay so that is the size of div whatever the div size you can see here on the screen with pink border so what i will do i will add a background here but not a color this time i will add a background image here and whenever you have to add image okay as a background always make sure that you will add the image from css only for that purpose we have a property called background image and here you have to mention the image name in the url okay i will say image one so i have one two three and this logo is five images so we will see how to add multiple backgrounds here also so i would like to take this image or any any image image one two three okay i will i will say here img okay for the one first one i will say and what type of image is this i need to see the extension so i will say this is dot jpg image so so i will say dot jpg okay and if i go here and i will refresh here you can see that the image is reflecting in my div as a background image and now we have added image but if i go to this page and if i look at the image image is very big image but it is covering a small portion means 
and entire image is not reflecting here right entire image is not reflecting here that's why image is getting cropped automatically browser is doing this these things for you and if you want this should not happen we have a property called background size background size okay so what i will do i will declare the next property with respect to background background size is there and for the size i have a content value okay this is a default value and you can see that what is the effect now it will take the image okay but by default de default image is trying to maintain its aspect ratio means ratio of height and width or ratio of width and height now it will try to maintain and that's why here you can see that here the height is ended up here the height is ended up and image is automatically getting repeated okay In, and for that purpose if you means whenever you use the content it will maintain the aspect ratio of image and if necessary that image will be repeated multiple times to cover the back, uh, entire div area okay and if you don't want you can use the cover value here whenever you use the cover value look here that repeated image will go on and this image will cover the entire area of div so this is the difference between uh, cover and content content will repeat the image if necessary cover will not repeat cover will fit the image it will stretch the image as it wants okay if you don't want to use the default property you can use the height and width okay and for that purpose you will have to declare or you have to mention the width first and later on height okay but again there will be a issue that it has taken 400 pixel width yes it has taken 100% sorry it has taken 100% width with respect to due and it has taken height with respect to height but it will not take height because we have mentioned here height as a, a 400 pixel and it will leave, leave the space that is what of padding because here we have 200 pixel padding you know top padding padding top and padding bottom side so here if i use the 100 percent it will cover automatically it will cover the entire area right as a single image but if you reduce the size of image if you want to repeat the image multiple times you can re repeat and i will say 100 pixel 100 pixel it should take and here you can see that that image is getting repeated multiple times it will take the size of 100 pixel and 100 pixel 100 by 100 pixel okay and that image will repeat multiple times as long as it gets covered entire area okay if you want to stop the image repetition you can stop here okay and i will say background repeat and background repeat for that purpose we have to say no repeat and it will add only one image of 100 by 100 pixels there will not be any repetition of images okay how this property works you may got a, may have got a clear picture of okay now now i have to talk on again background origin okay uh, let's let's say i have a image of 400 by 400 400 by 400 pixel okay intentionally i'm taking this uh, small image than its size and i want to cover the area that is only content box not a padding. it should not consider or it should not cover the padding and border okay it should not cover the padding and border okay and for that purpose i can add here background origin and where is the background here and first i will declare the content box and here you will see the difference how this image will be moved to the contents box 
okay it will start from the content means it will exclude the padding and border okay if i say padding box it will start normally as it was started so here it will start what i will do now background size i will change and i will say cover so to show you the difference okay i will show you cover as we did for the color background color also okay it is covering but it is not covering the border okay if i say background origin as a border box you will see that you feel that image is getting zoomed okay, so this is how it works okay and if you did not see the difference much i will say 100 pixel of border okay i will say 100 pixel of border and i will reduce and now if i say here here if i say earlier we had a padding box so padding box will show the image in this way and now here you can see that my image should start from this position right okay not this from this position this arrow is an indication for us that whether my image is getting started from that position or not or what is the effect of border so for that purpose what i will do i will make the border transparent okay and you will see that there will and as of now we have declared background origin as a padding box so it will not cover the border box okay and the the 100 pixel size of border is remaining i want this background image should cover that area also so for that purpose i will say border box and when i refresh the page you can see that the image is zoomed means it is covering up from the border only border padding everything is considered in the border box in padding box only padding and content box will be considered border box will be excluded and in content box padding and border box will be excluded this is how property works okay so we are or we have discussed this now we are left with background position so here let me go here i will change this to 10 pixel and now let's say we have this and i will okay clear the screen so that that arrow should come should not come now now i have to discuss about background position okay and what i will do i will uh, go here i will reduce the width means i will reduce the size of background and i will say 300 pixel and 300 pixel it will take the that image will take the mentioned height and width okay now i want to position or i want this image to be aligned at this corner right here on this corner so this corner means i will highlight here this image should come and sit here in this box okay this is not a 300 by 300 box i am i am randomly taken so for that purpose i have to declare the property background position so we have a rights or we have a property to position the background as we want and for that purpose i will say right bottom okay maybe this work if this doesn't work then we need to change okay this is working here and we can align the image anywhere by using this prop position properties if you want this image in the top right corner so you will say bottom instead of bottom you will say top or like this you can place this image anywhere in your due area so now with respect to single background we have seen this now i would like to discuss about 
multiple background so you can add the property same properties will be there okay for each and every but you have to add if you have to add the one more image to the background you can say that uh, you can add the image to the background image property separated by comma by adding url and you have to say image to dot jpg okay and here you will see that that image will get loaded okay why this this image is not exist or am i giving incorrect name let me check the property yes it is there okay and now i have to give the property background size to this second image it should cover okay if i do not cover it will consider the first property as it is and if i say here you can see that i have added one more images so earlier it was taking 300 by 300 and the image was behind the first image <clears throat> now i i have to say or if you want to say repeat or no repeat i can say background repeat position here so i will say no repeat okay and then how much area it should cover i will say content box okay and it should not cover the padding box so image will cover the content box only okay now with respect to positioning we can sit anywhere but the image is itself is covering the entire area so we want to be able to position because this is taking 100% width and 100% height height so this is how we can add any number of images or any number of images to the background and by using these properties you can set the image anywhere and how you, however you want. But only you have to remember about the this property. The background clip property works with text. Background origin property works with images. All other properties are applicable for both the color and images. Now, now let's say you you have to add or you have to add the multiple colors, right? With respect to background, we have discussed only one color. That is the background color property. Okay, I will remove everything uh, or these properties from now because we have discussed. I will say background color. and aquamarine okay just to show you so with respect to color we have only seen that only uh, how to add a color but we are able to add only one color but if you want to add multiple colors to the background in different shapes for that purpose we have something called gradient in css okay that is also used with background image but you should not use the background color property for that purpose you have to use the background image property to add the gradient okay and gradient property will allow you to display the smooth transition between two colors means what okay so it will not separate the two colors as you can see that here we have a gray color and here we have a dark green color here we have a black color so this is what the transition means changing the one color to another color even without differentiating so it will add you know it will be a smooth transition from gray to green so this box will show you transition gray to green or gray to black 
so this is what the transition and if you want to add multiple colors i will say we have property called css gradient okay we say this is as a css gradient but we use background image only and for css gradient i will use okay any of the color this color later on we have three types of gradient first one is linear gradient okay linear gradient next one is radial gradient radial gradient and next is conic gradient so there are three types of gradients to add or to add the multiple colors to the background in a different style okay then linear gradient what it will do what a radial gradient will do and what is the conical gradient we will discuss one by one now so to add multiple colors what i can do i will change this to background image and here i have to say linear gradient okay and the moment i declare linear gradient what values i should pass okay so i have to pass the colors right i have to pass the different 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 colors here so i can pass as many colors as i want okay so what i will do i will say color not color i will say red okay i will say green i will just use the rgb colors here okay directly ah red green and blue color okay fine and i will go here and i will refresh here you can see that multiple colors have been added to the background and there is a smooth transition this is a smooth transition that you will feel that the color red color is changing or turning into the green and that is again turning into the blue okay now by default the position of gradient is this what is this position so this is a top to bottom position if i want this position in this way okay in this direction so what we can say that uh towards the right direction right now it is by default it is to bottom direction means what i have to add the direction to this gradient and at very first argument this is a function actually okay we are passing the values in a, a circular bracket means this is a function we are using and for that function if i have to mention or for that that linear gradient if i have to mention the direction i need to say to bottom okay this is a default it will not change anything but if i change this or if i want to change this direction i will say to right and it will be in a horizontal direction as you can see here red green blue red green sorry red green blue if you want to say that it should be in a direction uh, that towards left means this blue color should come to the left what i will do i will say to left like this we can uh, rotate these colors as we want to the any direction this is what the linear gradient and for the direction purpose if you want to add the color in inclined direction means what okay what inclined means so this should be in uh, either this direction right or at specific angle if you want to have the color combination we can add the angle instead of this direction and here i can add 0 to 360 degree angle and i will say 130 for you or i will say 90 degree is something that we have said that to right or to left but i will say 130 for you degree okay and here you can see that background 
बैकग्राउंड कलर रेड ग्रीन ब्लू रेड ग्रीन ब्लू ओके दिस इज हाउ वी कैन हैड लीनियर ग्रेडियंट इन एंगल आल्सो एंड यू हैव अ फ्रीडम टू मेंशन द डायरेक्शन इन व्हाट डायरेक्शन इट शुड ऐड द कलर okay and if you want to add the multiple colors so many colors you can add here there will not be any limit for the color you can say light okay i will say light gray and then black then yellow i am just adding okay yellow then pink and as many color you can you can add Okay, and it will take that much color. It will divide automatically. It will divide the area into those many colors. Okay, we need not to worry about that. And if you want to add the color in specific direction, or if you want to mention how much color it should take, or if any specific color, how much area it should cover. so you can specify here i will say 10% it should take 10% red it should take 10% or not 10% until 20% it should take green and after that it should take blue so automatically what it, it will do last color will be continued until the end and it will cover only 10% of area by red and later on it will cover okay that is a mixture here you can see that green color is spreaded until that is the transition that we don't control but whatever the area we have mentioned here will be covered and whenever you have to add this means you have to say that 10% green 10% blue 10% white or multiple colors are there you need to go from 0 to 100 means in a progressive way if i say 10 10% okay if i give the so it will not take 10% from uh, this position okay this position it will take 10% from this position only and you won't be able to see the green okay oh sorry transition between these two green and this what uh, green and red so this is how it works and remaining blue will be covered okay so if you want to say that it should take 20% and it should take 30% so it is in a progressive way so 30% we have given and if i want to repeat okay if i want to repeat this gradient i can add a repeating linear gradient instead of this and i will say repeating linear gradient and you will have a three colors repeated multiple times until it get cover entire area of dew and direction you can change okay i keep this direction as it is later on we have next property that is radial gradient okay radial gradient is nothing but a circular gradient it always start from center it always start from center so instead of a linear, linear gradient okay or i will remove everything from background image property okay and now i will add values here uh, as a background image 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 okay not image i will say radial gradient and again here we can pass multiple colors i will pass only these colors red green rgb colors only red green and blue okay and you can see what is radial so first from the center position first the color will be started later on it will converted to the green next second color and at the end it will add the blue color means whatever the color we have mentioned at the right if i say yellow at the last okay it will add yellow color and you would be able to see how this works so using this you can add the color in either circular direction means using radial 
gradient you can add colors in circular direction from center or either in elliptical by default it is elliptical shape of this shape of this gradient is ellipse if you want to turn it into the circle you can change it and for that purpose again as we mentioned earlier direction here now in this case or in case of radial gradient i have to say either circle or ellipse and if i make it circle it will be a exactly circle otherwise it will be a ellipse so here we okay not ellipse okay and here we can see that the two this this is the only two styles shapes are there ellipse or circle and with respect to that if you want to add the percentage you can add the percentage as i did earlier i will say 10 percent again again i will say uh 20 percent okay and i will remove this this fine and 30 percent i will add okay 30 percent to the blue i will add and i will refresh here you can see that blue will take until okay but 10 percent of area is covered by red 10 percent of area is covered by green and later on it will it will take 10 percent but there is no other color so it will continue to extend the blue or last color until 100 percent and if i wanted to add the repeating here also i i have a value or i have a property that repeating radial gradient and it will repeat the same color until it covers the entire area and this is how we can add multiple colors to to the background any any uh due element background okay but when you have to add multiple colors you have to use the gradient properties radial gradient or linear gradient now we have something called conic gradient okay so next background color property i mean to add multiple colors we have conic gradient i will say conic gradient what it will do you will see that it will it will add the colors in this way okay let's say this is a zero degree and this is a 90 degree and it will add colors in this direction it will add colors in this direction okay by default it will add colors in this direction so you will say or i will refresh so you can see that okay something is conic gradient but it should not have a direction or uh, i mean here so shape should not be ellipse for the conic gradients it it is taking a or it is starting from this vertical line until it should take 10 percent of means what here we have in degrees okay and it's circular it's shape is shape is circular it is not taking as an entire circular okay we can use the degrees here also and i will say 90 degree okay later on i will say 270 degree and remaining uh, what whatever would be there it should take the last and this is how we can change the background colors okay it, it depends upon the situation how color mixture in which direction you want if you want either in circular or ellipse you can use the radial gradient if you want it in a linear direction in one direction only so you can use the linear gradient and if you want mixture of color in this way as you can see on the screen so you can use conic gradient it is a rotational represent conic gradient means rotational uh, transition of colors rotational transition of colors similarly we have 
repeating conic gradient as we had earlier also and what you have to say that let's say you have to say 30 degree i will just to show you 60 degree okay not 600 degree and here i will say 90 degree and if i wanted to repeat this conic gradient i will say repeat okay not repeat or it is repeating yes it is repeating and i will refresh and you can see the colors are arranged or spreaded in this way okay and as per your choice you can add many colors you want if you want to show the box okay if you want to show the box uh, i mean this this is like a pie chart you can change the border radius of this dew border radius of this dew oh to 50 percent i will say 50 percent okay and the moment i i uh, not i declare okay the moment you declare border radius of 50 percent it will not means that dew will not be in a shape of square it will be in a circle shape Okay, now if you want to create a pie chart, pie chart of three colors, red, green, blue. So I can mention the starting position and end position for the color in this way. Here I will say from zero degree to 90 degree. Okay, 90 or instead of that, I will say red color should cover until 120 degree. Okay, in this way I can or I I have to mention two angles, starting position and end position. So now here I will start green from 120 degree and I will end the green, green color at 240 degree. Okay, later on it is starting at 240 and I will end this uh, at zero degree or I will say 360 degree. not a 260 it should be 360 and you can see that three different color or this this should looks like a pie chart right if you want to move the center away from its normal position yes you can move the center by adding the position at position okay and here you have to say at start at by default it is at 50 percent horizontal 50 percent vertical 50 percent by default position so it will not change anything you can see okay but when i say it should move 60 or 70 percent horizontally this center will be moved on this direction means what direction i will show you or oh, right. this center will be moved in this direction and if i refresh i will show you i will refresh and here you can see that it is moved away, moved away from left side to 70%. Similarly, we can move it uh, vertically also by changing this position, I will say 40%. So when I declare the 40%, it is less than 50. So le when we use the less value, it will shift up, means that center will be shifted towards upside. So this is how we can change the position the same thing we can use at 70-40% for radial direction also. Sorry, radial gradient also. Or radial gradient also. And this is how a background properties works. So with respect to background, everything I have covered in this video, everything means everything, nothing apart from this uh, CSS have any other property to work with background. Okay, I'm talking about only CSS. CSS and everything is covered in this background. I hope this video will be helpful for you to design a background. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.